Okay, so um, on Monday, we have basically finished uh, all factors which will affect uh, businesses when they are trying to locate their business, right? And see, these are, these are the factors affecting the businesses when they are considering where they should set up the business. And then we did it. We did some exercise, yeah. Uh, you know, this one, and then another one, and then we know that, yeah, you know, the fact is, so how do we decide um, where they should locate their businesses? It, you know, it, it really depends on what kind of industry you are in. So yeah, so after the exercise, I think you 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 should be understanding more about how you can utilize the factors here because it it, it is really up to uh, the industry that you are in and and they will change your your considerations in each of um, uh, the factor here, right? Okay, so yeah, so this is everything that we have learned so far uh, for this chapter. Okay, um, yeah, the factors which uh, affect your decision making when you are trying to locate your business in somewhere else okay but here we focus like you know in the local um, perspective okay but now we are going to think about uh, something even bigger okay so now you see I think I am I am yeah, Matthew, uh, I think I'm presenting. Yeah, you guys can can can, can see um, the screen, right? Yeah, right. Okay. So now we are going to, um, you know, look at something even bigger, right? So you know, I'm pretty sure you know this already. Okay. So many different uh, multinational corporations, they do locate their businesses to other countries, and that's why they are called uh, multinational uh, corporations. Right, but you know why? Why do they operate in some other countries? Okay, so this is something that we would like to uh, know about. Okay, so here uh, you, you can see some very obvious uh, benefits. Why some uh, uh, corporations they would love to go to other countries uh, to run their businesses. So here you can see some uh, benefits. So um, here is the task. Okay, I just want you to finish. Okay, the explanation for each of the benefits. Okay, so yeah, so you you see here the first one business growth. So if you locate your business to another country, you will have this possible uh, benefit, which is business growth. So why? So you just have to explain it. Okay, I'm gonna give you um like ten minutes. Okay, ten minutes to finish everything. Okay, so the explanation for each of the benefits, and then we'll try to think of uh, like five real life uh, examples, you know, like five MNCs. Okay, and yeah, and then we'll go through uh, the whole thing together. All right, okay, is there any questions regarding the task? Well, if, if no, then, then you can go, go back to Google Classroom and get that file and yeah, try to finish it in 10 minutes right so once you finish it you can um, yeah give me a signal in the chat box uh, yeah sure sure yeah yeah if you're using your own notes that's all right right just write the points in your own notes write your explanations uh, you know on your own notes that's that's totally fine
Finished. Oh, sorry. Uh, my bad. My bad. Uh, let me change it. The numbers. The numbers. Yeah, let me change it. Let me change it very quick. Um, I'll do that. Yeah, you are finished. Oh yeah, they're, they're the laws and, and they are also, uh, you know, kinds of legal restrictions that will uh, limit your your choices as as a business when you're looking for um, a location. Mm, so have you finished it? Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So let's 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 go through let's go through um, the points together. Uh, so very quickly. So let's take a look at benefit one. So benefit one. So if 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 a business they operate their business um, in other countries. They can get business growth. So, so why is that? Yeah, they can increase customer base. They can uh, increase the, uh, increase the sales by, you know, increasing the market, right? Is it there? So yeah, so that is good. So because they are, <clears throat> they are um, getting getting into um, the international market. So which is 
way bigger, and that's why there should be, uh, you know, more customers, customers, um, and sales, right? Um, any real life examples? Like very quickly, like, like you know, what kind of business they they are doing this? Yeah, McDonald's, right? Just like that. McDonald's is everywhere around the world, right? Just like this. Yeah, Apple, right? Yeah, and you know, Starbucks, yes. Okay, so that's good. All right, okay, so let, let's go to the next one here. So the next benefit that you see, you see the production cost will be getting lower. So why? Why, why when we locate our business overseas, our production cost can get lower? Um, Okay, uh, right, that, that's nice. Uh, cost of factors of pro uh, production may be lower in other countries. Yeah, more natural resources, uh, lower wages, and, and yeah, that is correct. And also, Chloe, economies of scale, that is also correct. Yeah, uh, but when we talk about economies of scale, it's because, it's because now we, we, we are getting into a bigger market. So our output is getting higher and higher. So you still remember economy of scale when we are able to uh, increase the size of our firm, then we can enjoy a lower average cost. That is economies of scale, right? Uh, the land price may be lower in a country with larger area. Yeah, right. More supply in other countries. Yes. So that's good. So I would I would I would sum up um, all the points here. So um, yeah, operation operational cost. So here I would say uh, uh, the f the cost cost of um, factors factors of production yeah are lower, right? And you know what are the four factors of production. So you know in some countries you know they have a lower uh, standards of living, right? And and that's why. Uh, when you are trying to acquire like labor, when you're trying to acquire uh, like land, you know, and and you know some countries they have so many so many uh, different resources, so you, which makes which makes those resources cheaper than the others. So yeah, you will see okay some cost of uh, factors of production uh, are lower in some countries in some countries in some uh well let, let's make it more specific you know, like develop developing countries yeah and and yeah you, you see so usually you can see some examples why they always like to uh, locate their business in some developing countries it's because they want to enjoy uh, this benefit here okay yeah okay so yeah they can get cheaper land they can get cheaper capital they can get cheaper labor right so it's all good so the production costs lower Okay, any uh, real life example here? So, what kind of business uh, does that? Well, yeah, yeah, you can actually connect all the points together. But you know, if you really are trying to focus on yeah, some businesses, uh, uh, why they locate, you know, some of their businesses into other countries is mainly because of the production cost then uh, yeah that there, there, there should be still uh, some examples that you can tell like you know for 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 this one here i could say uh, apple yeah apple could be a good example right and that's why they set up like factories okay factories in china okay because they want to get cheaper labors they want to get cheaper materials Right, because you see here, um, there there are some raw materials in, in China. They have a, a huge amount of those resources. So yeah, labor, cheaper labor, cheaper resources, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. Uh, no, you don't have to. No, no, no. So this is just for application. Okay. In 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 GCSE business, we don't need any uh, real life examples. But when when it comes to IB. Then yes, okay, that is a must. That is a must. Yes, right. So, Apple, okay, Apple factory, yeah, Apple, Apple, you know, factories in 
in China perhaps, right? Just like that, okay? Yeah, right. Okay, uh, let's go to the third one. Okay, number three. Okay, delivery time and cost. So why they see why why this is getting cheaper as well? So how do we explain it? If you locate your business overseas, so the deliver delivery time and cost will be uh, lower. Anyone? Oh, sorry. Yeah, once again, once again, uh, I didn't see the messages. Yeah, this chat box is didn't roll down itself. Um, right. Okay. So if you're selling to a foreign market, uh, having a factory in a foreign country, you can reduce uh, delivery time and transportation costs. Yeah, in the long run, increasing customer loyalty and convenience. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's that's one very good answer. Haiti, uh, business closer to certain areas. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Uh, can if locating in another country allow the business to have sorting as and to so they get, yeah yeah deliver uh to the region more efficiently. That is true. Okay. Yeah, only need to send product once for um <clears throat> overseas. Other can. Be sent domestic, right, right, right. Yeah, Chloe, you you also got the right idea. So if I summarize all the points here, so I could see, yeah, I I, I could say, uh, yeah, close uh, closer to uh the customers or the market to the customers, right? And then um, transportation costs will then be lower. Lower transportation costs. Lower, lower transportation costs. Okay. Yeah. Right. Good. And um, yeah, I mean, for the example here, you know, there there's so many uh, different firms that you can refer to. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can you can you can still use uh, you know Apple as an example. Right or um, yeah yeah you, you can just use other other examples too, like um, uh, like Toyota, yeah Toyota, right Toyota uh, Toyota's factory factory in, in China, right or or, or or well I would say uh, well, in 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 the US yeah that's better, right so Toyota when it when it set up factories in the US yeah because you you know before they set up. The uh, the factory in the U.S. The distance, the de the de delivery distance it was so long, right, from Japan to the U.S. But now, when they set up factories in the U.S., they can get this benefit. They can get this benefit, right? Yeah, you you know what I mean, okay? But there 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 are a lot more benefits from from this. Okay, when Toyota is setting a, uh, a factory in the U.S. Okay, because you know, you know what, U.S. is actually imposing tariffs, um, you know, on on vehicles to Japan. So if Japan is able to set up factories uh, in the U.S., then they can skip, they can skip that cost, right? Because you know, the cost will be imply will be will, will be imposed to you when you export. Your cars from Japan to the U.S. But now, if I set up the factory in the U.S., then you know I don't need to pay that cost anymore. I don't need to pay that tax anymore because now I can just build my cars in the U.S. and then I sell sell the cars to your customers. Yeah. See, strategic strategy. Yeah, like strategy, like business strategy. Okay. Right. So yeah. So that's one. And um, yeah, let's go to number four. So number four. Uh. So why? Why this is a benefit? Why, when the legal restrictions uh, are lower, that could be a benefit? Oh, okay, okay. Quality control, pollution, right? Yeah, yeah. If 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 they have a you know like a more loose uh, legal restriction, the cost should be lower. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. More choice, yeah. More choices, 
uh, deciding where to relocate. Yeah, so the cost can be uh, lower, perhaps. Right, less paperwork. Yeah, more time efficient, and at the end, the cost should be lower. Right. Yeah. So that's good. So here, um, I would say. Wait. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Uh, restriction, restriction, wait, 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 wait. uh, I should say, look, well, maybe I just make it more, uh, directly. So lower cost, right, when, uh, there, there is less limitation on, um, uh, you know, the quality control, right, labor, uh, uh, Rules on rules on labors and um, yeah, some other things like paperwork, yeah, paperwork, 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 and yeah, yeah, and also environment, 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 uh, environmental control, control. Control. Okay. Uh. Yeah. And and also. Wait, damn it. Less. Uh. Limitation. On um. Choosing. Yeah. The location. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. Something like that. All right. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Okay. And and that's why once again so many. Uh, businesses, they decided to set up their businesses in so many developing countries because they see, okay, the legal restrictions there, okay, they're much lower than the other countries, okay. So, so many, um, let's say, uh, electronic device companies, they actually set up their businesses in Africa because you know, there are so much uh, you know, there's so much uh, uh, resources in Africa, okay, many Africa, Af African countries, okay, and they have, they, they have a very uh, loose, okay, legal uh, restrictions, okay, regarding the labor, uh, the environment, and also, you know, some other uh, things that we, we have just uh, discussed, okay, so that's why, right, some, 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 some companies, they set up their businesses in those countries, Okay, yeah, for that, right? So the cost will be lower, right? lower cost, okay, because of that, yeah? Uh, well, about the example, any, any example from you guys? Any examples? Well, I guess I'm just gonna give you one. Yeah. KFC. Mmm. You. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. H and M. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. I did heard about you know H and M. They uh, exploited you know the labor. Yeah. Quite a lot. Yeah. The KFC. Also. And the USA, yeah, but but now we are talking about when you are setting up business overseas. Okay, so yeah, so maybe, well, maybe maybe if if some other countries when they are trying to sell uh, guns in the US, then they can enjoy this benefit. Okay, so here, well, I'm just gonna yeah use your um, examples here. Right, H&M or KFC, or you know, I don't know any um, uh, military examples. Yeah, like like private, private like like fire weapon companies. So I cannot make that example. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, and some uh, electronic device uh, companies. Yeah, they they have so many uh, you know natural resource extracting uh, subdivisions in some African countries. Okay, 
And uh, yeah, the last one here, yeah, government incentives from another country. So why? So why there's a benefit? Like what kind of, okay, free loans, interest, and other benefits. Okay, well, that's good. Yeah, that's good. So they are attracting the businesses to locate in their, in their country. And that's why, okay, yeah, they have incentives for the MNCs. Okay, so yeah, to the to the businesses, uh, to the businesses, of course, there are lower costs. Okay, yeah, that is completely correct. Okay, so here, yeah, I'll just copy your answers. Like, well, sometimes free long, yeah, maybe long with, yeah, that is more, that is more, you know, uh, real loans with uh, lower interest yeah lower interest lower interest rates yeah subsidies subsidies um right and also a lower lower taxes lower taxes so you can see it, all of them all of them they you know why the countries they they would do that because they want to attract those companies to invest the businesses you know into their domestic economy Okay, so that the economy can grow possibly. Okay, so well, but to the businesses, if you see that, if you see you can you can get loans with with a lower interest rate. Now uh, you can get uh, subsidies. Uh, you can get uh, uh, you can get lower taxes if you move to another country uh, for business for operations. Then of course at the end you will get lower costs. All right, lower costs. Right, just like this. Okay, and uh, well, I don't think I'm gonna give you an example for this one. Okay, but you can see, uh, so many developing countries, they all have government incentives for uh, the MNCs. Okay, like like Fiji. Okay, Fiji, China. Okay, uh, yeah, so many developing countries. You name it, right? They all have they all have a series of uh, government incentives. Okay, uh, for MNCs. Okay, but not Hong Kong. Hong Kong, we don't have. We don't have um, we don't have much government incentives for the MNCs because you know the system itself is already providing so much benefits to the MNCs. So the government said, no, we are not going to give give away you know, like an individual set of government incentives to uh, the MNCs because we are already giving so many benefits from our system, from our structure itself. So yeah, right. So yeah, so you can see. Uh, so these are the five uh, direct benefits when a business they locate their operations, uh, like a shop, like a factory, uh, yeah, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, to another country. So these are the direct benefits you can get when you locate your business overseas. All right. Yeah. So very simple, very straightforward, and yeah. So now we finish the benefits when they locate their operations to another country. And of course, there will be some uh, limitations. There will be some limitations. And you can see here, that's one of them. Look at this. So the cultural differences, okay, could be the limitation when you are trying to um, uh, move the business location to another country. Okay, so this is one very good example here. Okay. Do you see those shops very often in Hong Kong? Like a kebab shop, like a taco shop? Yeah, only in Hong Kong Island. But, you know, you know yeah, rarely, yeah, rarely. But, but I, I would say, you know, I love taco. I don't, I don't know if you like tacos or not. Yeah, but I love, I love them, right? And also kebab, they are very good. Yeah, I remember one time when I uh, went to uh, Dubai and I tried some, some of their, you know, some, some of, some of the, like, like, Iranian kebab. Oh, they are so good. Yeah, they are very good. Yeah, I, I, you know, you just have no idea why they don't open businesses in Hong Kong. Yeah, Be yeah, and, and you can see one of the reasons, like why you know there, there's no well, well maybe just a little uh business for kebab and taco. It is it, is well the content. Well, not well, not 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 really. Is is still in in the same chapter. Okay, well, but you can see, okay, because because when you are trying to locate your business 
overseas. So this is one of uh, the very uh, big concerns that you have to consider. Okay, if the people in that country they like the product. Okay, and obviously, yeah, from uh, our observations, I don't think in general people in Hong Kong they they they, they like taco or uh, a kebab, and that's why you don't see them uh, much in in Hong Kong. But you, you know, yeah, they are they're very good food. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, kebab is is very good. Yeah. So so you can see right, the taste preference is so important, and it is is affecting our our you know location decision making. Okay, because you know when when we know, so there's no one, no one likes your 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 product. So why should I locate our business into that country? So here, yeah. So the these three points, uh, they can affect, okay, your decision making when you are trying to locate the business to another country. So the taste preference and and, and yeah. So so in general, I would say Hong Kong, Hong Kong people. They may not like tacos or kebabs that much, yeah. And also, right, you know, kebab is is more like um, I'm not sure, like a Middle East Middle East uh, cuisine, right? A taco is is more like a Mexican cuisine, and 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 you, when you look at that, you know, in our culture, like like we don't have many uh, people from Middle East, yeah. Who are living in Hong Kong, and 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 obviously we don't have many Mexicans in Hong Kong. Okay, so you know they're they're kind of kind of the minority groups here. Okay, so when you think about you know the culture and the re uh, yeah and the re religion, so it, they all limited. Okay, firms' choices when they are trying to locate the business to another country. Okay, yeah, so yeah, so cultural differences. That is one very big uh, limitation when we are deciding if we should um, locate a business to another country. Okay, yeah, All right. But you know what? If I have the money, I'll definitely open a taco shop. I think taco shop that will work. That will work. Okay. Yeah, it's healthy and is 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 easy to eat. Yeah, it's very convenient. Right, it's it's very good for uh, uh, people who who are working, you know, in 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 office. Right. Well, I, yeah, I would just go on YouTube, and I'm pretty sure I would know how to cook that. Yeah, is is I, I don't think it's that difficult. Yeah, you just have to buy, you know, like a like a crisp crispy stuff over there, and then you get some uh, ingredients and put it on the top, and that that's all right. Yeah, that will work. I think that will work. Yeah. So <laughs> we'll see. All right. Okay, let's go to uh, the second one. So the second one. So now the first one we talk about uh, uh, the cultural differences. The second one, very important, uh, the communication problems. Okay, so that will limit okay a firm when they are deciding if they should operate their business overseas. So here, can you translate? Can you translate what this guy is saying? So let's say. So now. You see, you, you see here. This is one MNC. Okay, uh, the headquarters uh, is in Hong Kong, and then they have a division in the UK. So now, yeah, the director is trying to communicate with the accounting manager in 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 the U uh, in the UK division. So, but you know, the the, the Hong Kong director, he doesn't know uh, any English. So that's the problem. Okay. Yeah. Well, what is he trying to say? Can you translate that? Oh, okay, but yeah, can you can you translate it completely? Like, what's going on here? So now you are the UK manager, okay? What 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 is he trying to say? Uh, what is my director trying to say? Okay, the acid test ratio calculated from this year's statement. Wait, is uh, wait? Did you just copy? Did you just copy the one that I I, I have in in the PowerPoint? Okay, okay, all right, got it. You, all right, I believe you. Okay, so that's absolutely correct. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, you did right. <laughs> okay, yeah. So that's absolutely correct. Okay, but but if you don't know any uh, Chinese, there's no way you understand what 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 that guy is trying to say. Okay, so yeah, so that person is trying to say right, just like that. Okay, yeah, you you know. Okay, when when you look at the English, you know what. What he's trying to say, okay, acid test ratio. We have learned that, okay. Uh, 
<laughs> well, anyway, okay, anyway. So acid test ratio calculated, okay, from uh, this year. Oh, once again, the balance sheet, we don't use the name anymore, okay? Yeah, we call it statement of financial position from now on for your exam also, okay? Yeah, so you see here, you know, when we look at uh, the statement of financial position, we can calculate the acid test ratio. Yeah, we know how to calculate that. Okay, and you know he is asking, "Wow, the, the the ratio is very high for this year." Yeah. So is there any problems? Yeah. Well, you see this this question here from the baby director. Yeah, could be in your exam. So what could be the possible reason, like 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 or problems, like like why why the acid acid test ratio is 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 so high for this year? Okay. Any any reason? Well, you know, there are so many reasons. Uh, well, if you accidentally write a balance sheet, then you will lose the mark, I believe. You will lose the mark, okay? Yeah, you will lose the mark, yeah. So make sure you you uh, get that correctly, okay? Yeah, even though they're the same, they're the same, all right? But, uh, yeah, yeah, but balance sheet is already uh, superseded. Yeah. So here, yeah, uh, you, you 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 can you can see uh, so many reasons. Yeah, some potential reasons. Like they they might have uh, so much cash in hand. Okay, that they didn't invest. Okay, so so that's why, right? The current assets uh, are getting uh, much higher. Or maybe they have uh, uh, so many uh, inventories with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. So many different reasons. Okay. Well, anyway, and 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 that's why. Yeah, when when your colleagues overseas, they don't understand your language, okay, or your culture, then it, there will be a problem when you are trying to uh, expand your business overseas, okay, yeah, or when you're trying to relocate your business uh, to another country, okay, and and also if if that's the case, there's another problem that you know when you have more uh, divisions in other countries. Okay, the communication uh, will be will be affected as well. Okay, uh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, Jesse, if you that would be that would be um, um, <clears throat> yeah. I, I I would say I, I would say yeah. You're correct. Okay, yeah. When you go back to HR management, yeah, we talk about uh, you know some communication barriers. Okay, so that is part of it. That's part of it. All right. Yeah, that's part of it. And yeah. So it limits and limits why some 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 uh, companies they don't want to uh, expand their businesses overseas because they cannot handle it. Okay, yeah, because you know, there might be some communication barriers, uh, which which will affect decision making. Yeah, because you know sometimes they just don't understand what you're saying, and and at the end you you listen to the wrong uh, command or or the wrong uh, instruction, so you make mistakes. Okay, and there will be higher costs, etc., etc. Okay, yeah, communication problems, right? Okay, <clears throat> all right. So let's go to um, this one here, and also we have ethical problems. Yeah. Okay, when we are trying to uh, uh, you know locate our business in another country. Yeah. So um, take a look of this uh, video here. It's a very quick. Uh, video so about ethics ethics oh not oh, too bad well I guess you can uh, rewatch it someday later but why 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 the YouTube is blocked Why is that? Are you in China or something? Well, anyway, just go watch the video. Oh, okay, yeah. Right. Knew it. Okay, yeah, yeah, you, you just have to listen to it, okay? There's 
there's actually nothing to uh, uh, watch. You know, nothing important that you have to uh, look at the screen. Yeah, you finished the video. So what what is what is the video talking about? So you finished the video? So what is the video talking about? Yeah, mad workers. The why why they are so angry? Yeah, they are losing jobs because of relocation. Yeah, because you know the company they they wanted to save uh, money, they want to save costs, and um, then they decided to uh, move the business location from the U.S. to Mexico. Okay, and yeah, and and that that comes the ethical problems when you relocate your business, right? So, so what what should we do to that fourteen hundred families? That is some ethical, you know, issue over there, right? Yeah, if if we let them just starve, then then you know, it's it's not ethical, right? And and that's why when you are trying to locate your business in 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 some other countries, then you you might you might face some uh, ethical problems like carriers in this case, like carriers in this case. Okay, yeah. All right. Okay. So, so yeah, yeah. Potential problems, you see, right? Because you know, if there is a huge, right, huge re redundancy might happen, which will give you, okay, the problem carriers uh, were facing back then. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Well, they don't have to be responsible for it. Yeah, they don't have to be. But you know, when you talk about ethics. That is not right, yeah. Because nowadays we focus more on ethics. Uh, yeah, it is 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 if it's just about self interest, life is much easier. <laughs> life is much easier, right? Yeah, but when we talk about CSR, then wow, business is so difficult. Yeah, it's so difficult to to run uh, the business if you have to care about you know so many different stakeholders, right? And at the same time. Yeah, potential problems when you locate your business uh, to other country to another country. You see here, yeah. So you see, these are the things uh, we 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 discuss when we were talking about the advantages when they are moving to another country. Okay, but at the same time, at the same time, when you look at this negatively, they are bad. Okay, you can enjoy lower costs. Uh, for using uh, labor or uh, for using the environment, for using the land in some uh, developing countries, but at the same time, there is a possibility that you know more and more companies they will exploit the labor, like like they are using child labor, 
in some developing countries, and they don't care about your environment. So they destroy the environment. They, they you know, they, they make so much pollution. Uh, well, if you talk about creating uh, 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 jobs, that that would be, um, yeah, the ben I would say the benefit here, creating jobs, will be focused on uh, the country, okay, the country. So, uh, and also uh, here, right, when we talk about the problems, here is more focusing on countries, okay, the country perspective, the country perspective. So when you are looking at uh, the questions, you need to realize like which stakeholder they are trying to ask. Are they asking for uh, what will happen to the business? Okay, yeah. Or if they are asking uh, what will happen to uh, the country? Okay, yeah, a national uh, perspective, right? So yeah, once again, it, it happens many times uh, in, in so many questions. They, yes, so many times when they're ask, uh, they asking a question, they focus on one particular uh, 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 stakeholder. Like uh, they sometimes they focus on the business, sometimes they focus on the workers in the business, sometimes they focus on the country, right? Okay, so yeah, well you know, are you talking about like GP or something like that? Well, anyway, okay, I think it's a good subject. Okay, so anyway, right? So here you will see ethical problems. If you if you don't handle ethical problems responsibly then you know you you can explain it afterwards right your reputation okay your brand image could be destroyed okay yeah right just like that when when they are trying to focus on business okay yeah the problems so that may uh, stop them from moving location to another country okay yeah there's a problem here okay Right, and the last one, uh, very uh, uh, straightforward, uh, uh, yeah, problem here is the quality issues. Okay, so imagine you now you have so many uh, different divisions in many different countries, so it is more difficult for you to control the quality in all the divisions. Okay, because now you know you, you, the the company is getting way bigger, the company is getting uh, way more complicated. Okay. And and yeah, at the end, so difficult to control, okay. Like a consistent uh, level of, of quality, okay. Yeah, so that's that could be that could be a potential problem, right? Yeah, right. So that's that's it. Okay, that's it. Right. Of course, you know when you think about uh, if if we we think about the quality uh, control or quality assurance uh, perspective, then uh, they might help. Right, if you are able to manage that well, if you are able to manage QA and QC very well, even when you have so many divisions, then it should not be a problem. But if you cannot manage that well, then you will see some quality issues. Okay. Um. Well, well, you can think about it, it like this way. So you know, when you are opening a many different shops and many different countries okay you have different qualities of different resources like you have a, a different quality for your labor you have different quality for uh, the raw materials you have different uh, qualities for for the capital right so at the end because of this inconsistency it's so difficult to control the quality all right it's not just uh, communication anymore. Communication could be something that uh, you know is, is difficult to control when you have so many uh, uh, divisions. Okay, for your business, but you know this one here. This one here is also one of uh, the problems that that you will see. Yeah, and also the skill level of, of labor. What if they, they they cannot really do your do, do your product like properly? So yeah, and then you will see. Right, you know, when when the, when the customers they open the box, they see what 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 the heck is that? Yeah, and and at the end, you know, your reputation, right, will be damaged. Okay, and maybe some people they will complain and get getting lawsuit, yeah, etc. etc. So many negative uh, potential uh, effects. Okay, yeah, 
coming after. So yeah, so that's all for uh, this chapter here. Okay, so once again, here's the summary. Okay, uh, you can see there are some uh, very direct be benefits. Okay, when you're trying to locate the business to another country. So here, so do make good use of the points and then you explain, explain, explain for your analysis marks. Okay, for your analysis marks, right? And at the same time, yeah, when we're trying to evaluate, so here, it's a very good evaluation uh, question here. So usually this will this will uh, be seen in question E. All right. So they will ask you if, if it's you know good to locate in another country. Okay. So here you have some benefits, and also you can argue. Okay. So if we locate, you know, to some other countries, then there might be some problems, some potential problems, which will affect uh, the benefits. Okay. So yeah, this is how you uh, can make a good evaluation using these points here. All right, so that's all for today. And we have finished this chapter. Okay, so yeah, so three more chapters to go. And yeah, so we have, we so now we have basically finished the entire operation management. Okay, yeah, so entire, the entire operations management is finished. Okay, so one more unit and you are done. Okay, one more unit and you are done. And that unit is all about macroeconomics or international economics. So if you are already studying economics, good luck. Okay, yeah, good luck. All right, maybe I'll just ask you to teach. All right, so because, you know, that would be great. Yeah, that would be great. I don't have to do anything. And you can, you know, also revise for your economics as well. Yeah, well, uh, I have no idea what that is. Okay, what what is that? N one C three. No idea. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Anyway, uh, I'll I'll let I'll let you guys go. What well, principal? I don't think principal is gonna join classes again. Do you still see her this week, principal? You still see? Her? Really? Oh God. Well. Anyway. Okay. Well. Good luck, guys. Uh. Go have your lunch. Okay, go have your lunch, and I'll see you guys next week. Okay.